Hello everyone and welcome back to Windcraft. Since last time not much has happened, but I did manage to procure a golden avia feather from the market, which means we are able to do a second secret discovery in today's episode. Where we have to go to the Avos camp at negative 1882 negative 3079. So, negative 1882, negative 3079. So we go in that direction, and up a lot. This will be the second discovery done in Corcus. If you missed the last one, be sure to check out the previous episode to see death, I guess. I mean, I did die, it was really sad. <laughs> I thought I was going to win, and then I, then I just didn't win, and I died. But I still got the XP, and that's what really matters. So, 3079, I am way, way far off. And my horse has just leveled up, which means it is now max level for a chestnut horse, which is good news. Um, but I don't have a white horse yet, so that's a shame. I do need to go to 18, negative 18 something. I need to get up this hill. That's what I need to do. So, I'm going to do that. Rather than find the actual path, I'm going to use my alternative methods, because they seem to work better than the actual paths for the most part anyway. So I'm just going to try to find an easy way up. Uh, except I can't. <laughs> it's got to be... There's, there's a way through it. There is. In here? It's like right up there. I don't think it's possible for me to jump up there from here, just because of the way the cliff side is oriented where it like curves inward on me, which does not help my present situation, which means I actually have to use the paths that the game provides, which is annoying because they don't follow the coordinates that I want to follow, but it shouldn't be too difficult because this is seems like a place to go, maybe? I mean, I'm trying to get up on the hill and I finally found the place where I can do that. Great! Now I can actually start heading somewhat toward my destination Hopefully, uh, there's arrows with no directions, so I could be heading off into space right now. I don't know. Hopefully, I'm not heading into space, and maybe there's a path that goes here. I don't know. I need to go right there, so that's where I'm going to go. I don't need paths to do that, because I have a horse and the escape spell, and together, I don't need either paths or anything. Anyway, negative 1882, uh, which is like this way, and negative 3079. Okay, and 1882, it's looking like this way a bit, this building right here maybe, I think so, seems right, yeah, okay, see this golden avia feather right there, boom, I need to throw this onto the table like that, and now there's this, sparklies, and I gotta follow the sparklies, I guess, I haven't read beyond this point on the wiki for what to do, so this is purely off my knowledge of video games in general. I'm going to follow the sparklies and hope that they take me to where I need to go to get to wherever I'm going. I'm not entirely sure. I could check the wiki again, but then I'd miss with the sparklies. And I can't miss the sparklies, they're too important. Without the sparklies, I wouldn't know where to go. Ooh, fancy. Ooh, a nice staircase too. Very nice. Where are we now? Underground. The Tale of the Lost Necklace. Chapter 1. How many chapters are there? I don't know. A long, long time ago, our people, the Avos, hid a very powerful accessory. No one really knows where it is, only the chosen ones, the ones who hid it. However, various clues have been scattered around our island, in case we needed the necklace again. The necklace was sealed away because of the Corgians' increased power. The necklace cannot be used in the wrong hands. It is infused with our own nature magic. We charge the necklace with the strongest winds. The first clue lays behind the hut with the red cloth in a cave with torturous rocks. End of chapter one. Okay, behind the hut with the red cloth in a cave with torturous rocks. So, hut with a red cloth isn't incredibly specific, because I mean, anyone could theoretically stick up a red cloth. But, what is more specific is a cave with torturous rocks. So, okay, well there's a red cloth right there. It's behind a cave, or a thing with red cloth. But there's also a red cloth over there. 
so maybe it's behind that one? I don't know. I need something with- oh, a lot of these have red cloths. Is that- is that the point? <laughs> is, is, is that because all of them have red cloths? Is that why this is difficult? I don't know. But I'm looking for a cave as well. Um, so if I don't find a cave near a hut with a red cloth, then that will be a problem. There is this cloth here. Um, but I don't know, I don't know how important this cloth is to the rest of the thing. There is a booth shrine here, which absolutely obliterated me last time I was here, so I'm not going to be doing that. I also already used the feather. But there's a cave with torturous rocks that I should be looking for. Behind, why can it, is there, oh, there's barriers here. Oh, that's weird. Why would, okay. I guess I don't want you leaving the arena from that side, even though I can go up this side perfectly fine that's kind of confusing i don't get it anyway i do still need to find a hut with a red cloth but i feel like this area in general is going to be more open to the cave idea so i'm going to stay here to look for those i've already claimed a loot chest that i just opened that's impressive i didn't realize i had the power to go into the future good for me i guess i don't know anyway it didn't look like this hut actually had a red cloth on it so that's a bit confusing it's not something that every hut does then, I guess. Gotta find the specific... Is there... Okay. I felt like there was a barrier because I wasn't moving correctly. Um, he was just lag. I don't know. Okay, this is interesting. There is red down there. Uh, I don't know if there's torturous rocks, but it certainly doesn't hurt to investigate. I guess. Ah, I'm about to take damage. Oh, no, I'm not. Bouncy. I like bouncies. Oh, there's nether stuff. Okay. Well, this doesn't seem to be... Most important, the first clue lays behind the hut with a red cloth. What specifically am I looking for here in regard to the necklace? It's a clue about its location. Um, first clue lays behind the hut with a red cloth in a cave with torturous rocks. There's plenty of red around. So even if the red cloth isn't specifically here, these are definitely red. I don't think that's what it's really looking for. But there is a cave here. And that is a red cloth. I guess this could be considered behind, depending on what direction you're looking for. Or looking at it from, I guess. Uh, but how would I find the first clue? I don't know what the first clue is. But I assume that I'll find something that says, Hey you, this is the clue. Get with it. You know? If this is even the right place. Which it may not be. I don't know. Um, it lays behind the hut in the in a cave with torturous rocks. In a cave. So that implies that there are multiple caves with torturous rocks. So maybe this isn't the right house. Maybe there's another cave with torturous rocks that I'm missing. Uh, well, did this house have a red cloth even? I don't know. This house definitely has a red cloth. So... It's going to be behind something. Behind this house wouldn't be too bad of a guess. But again, this cave, that cave could be considered behind this house. Or this hut. Unless there's a cave down here. Uh, this isn't really a cave, but there is rocks that could be considered torturous, I guess. I know, I guess it really depends on what you consider to be torturous. Okay, well this guy looks like he died. Ah, that looks important. What did that do? Anything? Uh, oh, there's another one over there. I gotta step on that one, too. Key up. Oh, missed that jump. Try that again. There we go. Is there one somewhere else now? I would assume there to be one in there. There's a ladder, so it is likely. Yeah. Um... Okay, well I stepped on all three of them. Now what? Try being faster. Pressure plate one. Now, Over here, pressure plate two. Beautiful. And running all the way over here to pressure plate three. On it. Ah, okay. That's what I needed. Alright, cool. Beautiful. I'm gonna heal up, because I took some damage. We got a thing. What is this? We finally found it. It's a location. Uh, okay. How do I interpret this? This looks like it would be coordinates. 
but how do I interpret this? I don't imagine it would go... I mean, there's like five digits on each side, which doesn't really make sense unless it's giving me a decimal value, but I highly doubt that that would be the case unless there's more information somewhere that I have yet to discover. Okay, so if it says we finally found it. It's a location. So these are coordinates. But how do I read this? Is it like the first four? Well, there's a four there. Negative one, one. But then there's a negative there. That's confusing. Because that means it's going to be two negative numbers. Right? It's one, negative one, negative three. But is it negative one, one, four, four? Negative three, three, seven, one? But then what are these other numbers here? So there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 digits. Could be giving me a Y value. That would only make 10 though. And I'd still be missing 1. Unless the Y has 3 digits, which is a possibility. Okay. So, assuming that it is X, Y, and Z with a 3 digit Y and 4 digit X's and Z's. The Y value is going to be positive. Right? So the negatives are going to be for the start of my X and Z's. So my Y has three digits, which means it probably starts with a one. So unless it's at 175, that seems really high. Um, maybe I just read it diag- oh, I probably read it diagonally. So negative one, four, three, seven. I should write this down somewhere. All right, I have written down the coordinates as negative 1437. I am now being pushed by the water. That's one of the coordinates. 147 and negative 3315. And that is where I will head off to. It is kind of far-ish. I mean, it's far in the, I can't go out this way. It's far in the X, not that far in the Z. And I do have to go up about 50 blocks to reach my destination. That was the sound of me putting down my pen case you heard that but if you didn't hear it then I don't know what I was talking about okay negative three three one five so this way and negative one four three seven this way that way a little bit it's like something just shot at me maybe that was me shooting at myself I don't know um, but three three one five it's a real odd noise I don't know what it is uh, three three one five negative one four three seven Three, three, one, five. Okay, I'm already too far in the Z. Yeah, it's a little, little movement, little motion. That's okay though. Three, three, one, five. There's a wall in my way. Easy to climb over though. Uh, negative one. Oh, now there's a mountain in my way, which is still easy to climb over. So negative one, four, three, seven in the X. Assuming it's interpreted X, Y, Z, which I feel like it would be, because otherwise that just wouldn't really make too much sense. So, oh, I have to cross a valley, dang it. Okay, well, it looks like there's a thing over there that I can use. I'm going to get my horse so I don't spend 15 hours doing this. 1437, negative 3315 is the coordinates. I have to go down or across this probably also. Yeah, I mean, I'd say it's probably about 100 blocks. Uh, so let me get off my horse and fall down directly into the enemies is exactly what I intended to do. I didn't make a mistake there at all. You saw nothing. We can move past that as a nation of people, uh, assuming we're all people here. I wouldn't judge if you're not, but be interesting. Anyway, 1437, negative 3315 is the destination at hand here. At least that's the destination I'm trying to go. It looks like I'm heading toward this temple. Um, so it is highly likely... I mean, that seems like a good place to hide anything, is in the temple designed for it. Um, and it is at somewhat of the right uh, Y value. I need to go a little lower. 1437. I actually went too far in the X. Now I'm going too far. I need to go... Now I went not far enough in the X, actually. So it is out of the temple. Um, and at 3315... It's a little bit down this way. We're over here now. Okay, this is a spot that I grinded a lot. Uh, 1437. Up there? Could be up in the middle of this thing. Yeah, there's a loot chest. I like loot. Don't shoot me. Thank you, Windows. <laughs> Go. No, don't die. Duh, if I die now, that'd be real bad. 
I mean, kind of. It'd be bad if I die no matter what, but I don't want to die for the sake of video quality. Okay. Can I can I do anything, please, without getting attacked? Holy cow. I'm just trying to move. Like, jeez. I'm not trying to die here. I just want to use escape on this block to get up here. Thank you. Jeez. Okay, and now it looks like... Okay, this is definitely the place. If this wasn't the place, I would be incredible.